Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Olivier Vidillo, um, Investor Relations for Highfield Resources, um, Australian listed company, um, ASX uh, HFR. Um, standard competent person and forward looking statements. Now, um, company owns a suite of tenements in the northern part of Spain, um, about 200 kilometers away from, uh, from the coast. And um, all the team is based in Pamplona. You can see that um, town at the top left. Um, we are in the process of developing that, uh, the Muga project. You can see that circle, uh, the green circle there. Uh, that's a uh, 500,000 ton um, phase one and 500,000 tons, uh, additional 500,000 tons for phase two of uh, K60 MOP potash with a 30 year mine life. Now, uh, what I wanted to talk about really and the key takeaways for today were um, five key points. So the potash thematic, uh, five-star location of the, of the project, uh, the world-class uh, Muga mine, uh, permitting uh, uh, well advanced and the strong financial position of the mine. So the demand outlook uh, for potash is, is obviously very strong. Uh, 67 million ton market at the moment. Um, population continues to increase and um, arable land keeps on decreasing, arable land per person. So increasing the need for better yields going forward. And that points to a very strong long-term fundamental. Um, most analysts see growth being at 2.5% uh, per annum. Now, on the supply side, it's also very interesting. Eight players control about 90% of the market. Um, which makes this project very unique. Um, there aren't any projects out there at this stage of development that have the environmental approval that aren't owned by one of the majors. Uh, so exposure to potash is actually very difficult to get. Um, and and, and this, this just makes, uh, makes a project like this that's owned, that's um, independent, uh, a very interesting um, investment. Now, the other point was uh, its location. Uh, as I said before, we're 200 kilometers away from, from major ports, whereas the other major players are about 1,800 kilometers uh, from, from port. Uh, on top of that, we are much closer to, uh, for example, the large uh, demand area of Brazil, a 10 million ton demand there. And, and you can see um, the, the, you know, the transport uh, means that we get a lot more of that net back back to the mine. But really, what really makes a difference is our location in Europe. Um, we're located in the middle of a, of a high-consuming potash region with Aquitaine and northern part of Spain. And at the bottom, you'll see a graph showing um, what is a price premium uh, that's been around for, for many years, um, a price premium in Europe. Really, and and because of our location, we can get virtually all of that price premium. Now, other positive attributes of the project: um, very show shallow mineralization, 300 meters below uh, surface, whereas most other mines are at least a thousand meters. Um, excellent infrastructure around us, uh, fantastic roads and uh, power substation, European, the European Union has put a lot of money into the local community and the local roads, and a conventional flotation and crystallization circuit. I mean, all of this um, really points to extremely low capex, 368 million capex for phase one, uh, 208 million capex for phase two, and um, that's half the capital intensity of other projects out there. So in terms, of, in terms of permitting, as I said before, we, uh, we recently got our environmental approval announced in June this year. Really, that's a pivotal moment for any mining company. And what that does, it provides a very clear path um, as, a, as to the steps going forward. Um, at the moment, we're working on our mining concession and construction permits. And we believe that we'll get those in about 12 months and then two-year construction through to production. 
So apart from um, the, the excellent work we've been doing on the approvals, we've been de-risking the project uh, quite substantially. So um, we've signed a, an MOU with uh, the big construction, Spanish construction company, Acciona. Um, and that really, we believe, really reduce, reduces our uh, project delivery risk. Um, we've signed an MOU with Amaropa, a large Swiss, Swiss agricultural uh, and potash trader, for 50% of our phase one production. And we've done a lot of improvements on the, on the process plant, um, you know, which has improved recovery significantly, and uh, we'll see the, the impact that had on, um, on our project. Um, so those uh, at the bottom, you'll see the, the costs uh, coming down. That's really due to the, uh, to the work we've done on the, on the process plant. So the, the cost of the mine will be 82 euros a tonne, which we believe will be one of the lowest cost mines um, in the world. And um, in, on top of all of that, taking into consideration that price premium in Europe, um, we see this as being one of the highest margin potash mines. And uh, this just makes this such a unique offering, um, which uh, yeah, obviously in terms of the, the financial outcomes. We also take our ESG and our social position in the region very seriously. We, we are uh, all based in Spain, all the way up to CEO Peter Albert, uh, who's sitting in the audience today. Um, we all carry a Hewa Cali, which is our Spanish subsidiary uh, card in Spain. Most of the work is conducted in Spanish, and, um, and that's something that's very noticed by, by our local community. We recently had an open door event. 400 people from the local community turned up, and 97% are positive and want this mine to happen. Uh, there's a lot of problems with depopulation in the region, and they can see the benefits of, of such a project. Um, at the top, you'll see a picture of, uh, of an information session we hosted with the local mayors, and again, extremely positive feedback, um, and a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of the, the the local communities want this mine to happen. Now, in terms of our, our financial position, um, EMR Capital, uh, large one of our largest shareholders, uh, thirty percent owner, uh, Australian Super, five percent. Um, and extremely strong financials, as I, everything I mentioned before gives us an MPV8 of uh, almost 2 billion euros and an IRR of 25%, and an EBITDA at full production of around 310 million euros per annum. We have 44 million in the bank, um, so that should keep us going until, until the middle of next year. Um, we had 185 million debt credit approved from lar four large European banks, uh, we'll, need to, we'll need to update that, but we're in a very good position. Um, and obviously with all this extremely good, uh, good news, we have several financing options that, uh, that we're looking into. So really the key takeaways of this extremely unique project, uh, five-star location in terms of um, proximity to port and uh, diverse export options, but also sitting in a, in a premium-priced region. Um, strong long-term potash thematic, extremely competitive uh, cost position, um, very robust financials, strong focus on ESG, and an extremely qualified team with, with a very experienced board and executive team in, in Spain. Um, that's all I had. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please come and see us at our booth, uh, F25. Um, sorry? The burn rate, you said 45 million will, will be gone by the middle of next year. Yeah, well, we have some long lead items that we'll need to, we'll need to sign up to, uh, put deposits down. So uh, depending on, uh, on how we progress with all the mining concession, which we think it should be quite a swift um, process, we'll have to put down deposits on, on, on those. And, and then depending on how that works out, that should last us till next year. Thank you very much.